Hi everyone, happy Monday. I'm so happy you could join us. I'm Denise with Artists at Heart Paint Party. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend and a blessed Mother's Day. Uh, we had a little snow here in Cleveland, Ohio, but that's no surprise, okay? You never know what the weather's gonna be like here. So you guys, I'm so excited for today. We have an incredible guest. Uh, this is um, a teacher friend of mine who is now a principal and her name is Michelle Person. Also, she's coming to you live from her home in Cleveland, Ohio. Joe's gonna bring her up on the screen. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Denise. Thank you so much for coming out. Oh, look at your dolls. Yes, it's Kai. Oh, this is this is Kai. This is the daddy man. They wanted to say hi to. Oh, they're so cute. So um, love it. Could you tell us a little bit about your just like me books? Sure. So I had my youngest daughter about three years ago and um, my I was her dad was concerned because at the time we lived really far apart and he was concerned that she wasn't going to know him. And I said, oh, you're her daddy, man. You're going to know him. And it took a lot of can be like, it doesn't matter how far apart we are. Like you're going to get to she's going to know you. She's going to love you because you're her daddy. Um, and so out of that idea, um, I said, maybe I'm going to write a story about all the things they're going to do together um, as, as father and daughter. And uh, I wrote the story as a gift um, and showed it to a few people. And they said, this is really cute. You should make it into a full blown story. And I did. And so I made it into a story and it, it got me thinking that there aren't enough books with uh, diverse characters. So I've written about five books right now with a bunch of different characters that, that represent all kids, all colors and shades of the rainbow. That is amazing, and I am so proud of you. Thank and you. I'm honored to say that I once taught with you, so it's super Yes, we did. I know that the kids can find these books on Amazon, and I am going to give you the full screen so you could read to them one of your stories. Sure, I would love to. Thanks. I'm going to put, so I'm going to put, this is, uh, this is the daddy man and this is Kai and I'm going to put them to the side right now. So they're going to sit and they're going to listen to the story just like you guys. I have, I do have several books, but the one I'm going to read to you today is the very first book. It's the adventures of Kai and the daddy man. And you can find this book on Amazon. Um, you can find this book on just like me, read just like me books.com as well. And, and a couple other uh, online outlet stores, but this is the first book and I hope you guys like it. And it says, we're going to start here. It says, hi, my name is Kai, and I am the luckiest little girl in the world because I have a daddy man. The daddy man was the first person I met after I was born. He held me close, kissed me, and called me sunshine. One day, I was being attacked by sharp sticks at the doctor's office. It hurt. The daddy man made the sticks go away and snuggled me until I felt better. He gives the best snuggles. I play games with the daddy man. Our favorite game is the uh, picture game. The daddy man is the photographer and I am the model. I'm good at making being a model. Sometimes a daddy man has to go away and I miss him. Mommy helps me talk to him on the pewter. The daddy man makes funny faces to make me laugh. He's so silly. He's the best daddy ever and he's all mine. Kai gets earrings. The daddy man says, I'm a big girl, so I can have earrings like mommy. I say, yay. The daddy man takes me to the mall and we pick out the shiniest earrings they have. The lady in the mall drew circles on my ears where my earrings will go. The lady said, when I count to three, I will put the earrings in. Ouch! The lady didn't say it would hurt. I was not happy. Look at her face, she is not happy. The daddy man held me close and sang the sunshine song. It made me feel better. By the time we got home to show mommy, it didn't even hurt anymore. And I love the way my new earrings sparkle. Thank you, daddy man. Kai's first football game. The daddy man said, we are going to watch football. I said, what's football? The daddy man said, 
Football is when big boys run in the grass and chase after a pointy ball. I say, okay. The daddy man says, you have to have snacks to watch football. I say, yay. The daddy man says, you have to wear the same color as the big boys when you watch football. I say, okay. The daddy man didn't say it, but I think you were supposed to yell at the TV when the big boys don't catch the pointy ball. The daddy man said, our big boys didn't win. He was mad. I gave the daddy man kisses. He was happy. I can't wait to watch football with the daddy man again. And that is the end of Kai and the daddy man. That was great. Show, okay, show us Kai again. So this is Kai and this is the daddy man. I love those. That was so sweet. Oh, and thank you. I, I'm all about the snacks and football too. Oh yeah. <laughs> and yelling at the TV when, if you notice, those colors were brown and orange. So you are yelling at the TV when they don't make them. They miss the ball. <laughs> And for those of you guys, brown and orange are the Cleveland Browns. We have a lot of people, believe it or not, in Florida. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, yeah I've been talking about the Browns. And yeah. mm -hmm. so, that was wonderful. I'm so proud of you, and I love it. And uh, if the kids want to, if you guys have any questions for Michelle, you mm -hmm. can chat them in the chat room, and Joe will put a banner up with the question, and uh, Michelle would be happy to answer it before we do our self-portrait. So I would love any questions. If you have any questions about how what it takes with you want to be an author how do you become an author how do you do the pictures to be to illustrations any of those questions did you um know the illustrator of your story i actually did not i found him online uh that's one of the things that i tell people all the time when i go and speak about how to become an author you don't have to know how to do everything all i do is write the words i have i write the words and i have pictures in my head of what i want them to look like but denise i draw stick people not really good at <laughs> I'm not really good at drawing it drawing myself. So I just describe to someone else um, what I would like my pictures to look like, and and they send me um, different versions, and I pick the versions I like, and I've had the opportunity to work with some really amazing artists doing it that way. That that's great. Do you have any desire to uh, write? Uh, children's book about this virus that's going on right now? <laughs> uh, you know, I might. Um, I have two series. I have the Kai and the Daddy Man series, which like we just read. They, I mean, they're, they're for younger kids and it's just a fun series about the different things that, um, that a baby experiences and the way in which they see the world. But then I do have another series that I write and it's more for older kids. Um, there, It's the Nathaniel English uh, series. And this series is you know, given the fact that we were both teachers and I'm an educator, this series, uh, it, it tells the story of a young boy, but it interweaves some like actual historical lessons in it. So oh. I might, you know, I mean, given that this series is probably for older kids, I could totally see myself doing one where we talk about COVID-19 and the impact it had and how, you know, what what's going to be different, you know, when we in the next couple months and how life is going to change. So maybe. Right. Yeah, it's. uh really interesting for sure so mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, wow well i again i am impressed and yeah, i'm impressed with you we, so many great people came out of um came out of warner girls leadership academy it's awesome yes i think uh that was i think we talked together in 2009 uh, Kai was my oldest daughter was four, so because she went to preschool, she would come to preschool sometimes. I think you have her in class. She's now. <laughs> so yeah, that yeah, that was about ten years ago. That's amazing. I, I time flies. That's for sure. So um, now I know that you have stuff to do, and and uh, we would love for you to draw with us. But I understand if you're not ready, or if you want to post it later, so the kids will stay on and chat, and then the what they do is they share their artwork and I will definitely share their pictures with you as well. Okay. So um, if you do make something, you can post it later. Okay. And, and if you, um, again, I don't know if they're writing questions or not yet, but they'll probably do it throughout the show. So we, if you pop in later, or maybe I can ask you and you can answer it later as well. Definitely. definitely. So, thank you so much. And again, if you want to come back on, just pop back on and Joe will bring you on. I'm going to start doing our self portrait. All right. No problem. Have fun. It was nice to see you. Bye. Bye. All right, you guys. So I'm really going to focus on, 
not necessarily a realistic self-portrait, uh, but I'm going to use a, oops, actually let's do a couple different things. All right. So I had to move this while Michelle comes on because you know everything. So now it's cockeyed, but that's okay. I'm going to do a practice, a sloppy copy first. So if you guys have computer paper or tag board or anything, I would fold it long way. Okay. So portrait style or long and skinny, like a hot dog fold it in half and I want it to have balance and symmetry that's the same on both sides so I'm actually going to use a marker so you can see it so I am going to look at where the opening is and then there's the crease okay so crease opening that's really important I'm going to start with a half a circle on the crease work my way out all the way down and then back to the crease so that circle goes to where the opening is. So there's my half circle. Right in the middle of my half circle, I'm gonna put another half circle. That's gonna be my ear. And again, this is my practice copy, okay? Now, I wanna put a neck on mine. So again, where the opening is, I'm gonna add a neck right there. Now, if I cut this out together, fold it in half, it will be symmetrical, which is the same on both sides. Okay. Ten years ago. I'm telling you guys, I don't know where ten years have gone. Poof, gone like that. So I cut it out on the line, and then you open it up. Look at that egg head. Okay, mine's an egg head. And that's okay. This is practice. This is our sloppy copy. So the way, the shape you make it, of course, is the shape that's going to come out. Now, you can do your sloppy copy and practice it on here, or you can practice it on another piece of paper. But that was just to give you an idea how to create the basic shape. All right, let's get this so it doesn't fall over. I'm going to do mine really large so you can see it on the screen. Believe it or not, if you guys take your index finger and draw an imaginary line down the center of your face, center of your nose, center of your lips. You have balance and symmetry straight down your body. It's the same on both sides. Is it exactly the same? No. If I put a ring on one finger and then on the other, one hand it's a little bit bigger than the other. So one side is slightly larger than the other. And I have the same issue with my shoes. I'll go to the shoe store and one shoe fits perfect and the other one might be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller because we do have balance and symmetry, but not exact, okay? But that goes with your eyebrows, your nostrils, even your teeth. One big tooth, one big tooth, one littler tooth, one littler tooth, your ears, okay? So what I want you guys to do before we do this, proportions, we're going to figure out, so my head, I got a big melon moon head, but if your head is narrower, more like an egg shape, or is it fuller, more like a circle, think about that as we start to draw. Now, I'm going to do mine. I'm not going to fold it in half with balance and symmetry. I'm just going to draw the whole thing out. Hopefully, this time, it doesn't look too much like, a, like an egg. I'm going to draw really large, so I'm going to do... I'm going to put it here over here. I'm not going to make it so egg heady. It's hard to draw from the side. I'm going to put my neck on. Okay. I can put my turtleneck on. You can do your own shirt if you have buttons or whatever. All right. Now, you guys, your eyes and your ears. So I want you to take your fingers and feel where your ears are, the top of your ears. Feel the top of your ear and slide your finger over to where your eyebrow is. So your ears start about where your eyebrows are and come to where your mouth is. I know they don't look that big, but they are. So literally where they come on your head is about where your eyebrows are and where your lip is. So here's my ear. So I know my eyebrows should be around this area and my lips should be around here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start 
let's do the eyes. So a basic shape for your eyes is a football shape. And we were talking about football, right? Which is like an almond. So I'm going to do a football shape. And do you know something else proportionately? The space in between your eyes is the, the space enough for a third eye. Believe it or not, because it doesn't look that big, but, and I'm probably getting marker all over my face, but you, this eye and then the space in between here should be about the size of the eye that you just drew. So I'm gonna draw another one. And then this space, without me measuring, should roughly be the same size as that eyeball. If you have a ruler and you wanna measure it, go ahead. If it's too far apart, it's going to look like an alien. And if it's too close together, it's going to look weird. It's going to look like an alien. <laughs> so there's my football. Now, inside my football, let's say there's a basketball. So there's another round circle. So I have a football and a circle. That's going to be my basketball. And inside my basketball, there's a baseball. My ba That's your pupil. That's always black. This part is the colored part of the eye, the iris. So you, people have different colors, green, yellow, green, hazel, brown. Mine are really, really dark brown, black, but everyone's pupil is black. And then above the eyes, I'm gonna do the eyebrows. And then the nose, you can make your nose just like a, you know, half circle if you want. I'm gonna do my nostrils like that. My lips. And you know, you could look in the mirror. Do you have really full lips? Do you have thinner lips? I wish I, I'm going to cover it. Look at this ear that's lopsided. I'm going to cover it with hair anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now, you can also add eyelashes if you want to add eyelashes. And then, and don't make your, I mean, again, this is practice for you guys, or it could be your good one, but, you know, right now you might be creating me. So it will help. So let's see if I'm going to, if I can make this look like me, my bangs. So my bangs go over my brow. And then you could So guess what guys, I woke up with snow on the ground again today. Can you believe it? Another day of snow. Now down here, again, this would be your shirt. So I have a black turtleneck on. Does it look exactly like me? No. Now if you wear earrings, you could put a little earring on in there. If you have a bow or a clip in your hair, you can add a bow or a clip. You add the details. Maybe you're making somebody else. Maybe you're not doing a self-portrait. There's an idea of a self-portrait. Again, and maybe you're in your favorite shirt. Maybe you have a pink shirt on. We used a pink banner today because I asked Michelle what her favorite color is. So the most important thing about this for me today is to get the skin color. Now, if you want to make it cartoony and make a silly skin color, that's fine. And if you want to do a realistic color, you may have to mix a color. So I was in the middle of mixing a color for my skin. I have this plate here. I put some peach, some white, some brown. So I'll show you how close I'm getting. You see that? Looks too light to me. So I'm gonna put a little bit more brown in there. Now, if you don't have paint, you can use crayons. You can mix brown and peach and you know whatever colors you want to mix. 
but no one is a white crayon or a black crayon. So you should not use a white or a black for your skin color. I want you to use something fleshy. If you, again, if you don't, you could try mixing some yellow and some brown together, and that would give you a nice fleshy color. Um, brown or orange. I probably have a lot of orange in my skin color. I could probably put some orange in this color here. I'm gonna put a little bit more brown in mine. So it's an experiment. I just have to keep um, playing with my paint. And again, I have a lot of paint here, you guys. So I can experiment with the skin color. But if you use black and you mix white with it, you're gonna end up with gray. So I am gonna paint in my skin color. Let's see. That's pretty close, not bad. And again, you guys could be using crayon or you could be doing somebody else and you can use regular peach if you want to. We'll see how close I get. Now I think, now I am pretty tan in the summer. So this one's looking. I think I'm still more orangey pink than this color's coming out, but that's okay. It's pretty close. You can also do the whole project in paper. So when I was a teacher in Cleveland, I would do this project with construction paper. And I had um, multicolored construction paper. I had multicolored crayons. I had multicolored uh, magic markers because uh, we have a really diverse population in Cleveland. And I, you know, I wanted the kids to get as close as they could to their skin color. So we always did self portraits. And again, we used a variety of materials and they would have to try to match their skin color. And then they got to create their clothes. But we, a lot of times we use cut paper. So if you guys are using cut paper, that's great. Same thing, you can cut the white football, you would use white for the football part of the eye. So you can cut out some white footballs. And then the, the round basketball part again would be, so today I'm using paper, you can see it buckling on the screen, but that's okay. I wanted it to be nice and large. And I can go back in and re-outline it later. So I can even, again, I can even just go right over my lips and my nose and then just go, as long as I can still see the line, which I can, I don't know if you guys can see my line still, but I can still see it. And I'll just re-outline it later. So this paper is much bigger than the canvas that I usually use. I just wanted it to be full, but it's getting really wrinkly. Maybe that's a sign I'm getting wrinkly. Oh dear. Wink, just drop some on the ground. So I hope you guys had a great day. I went to see my mom yesterday. I wore my face mask. I brought her dinner. I got to see my nephew who graduated from the University of Dayton. We all had our masks on. And again, there's just the basics. And then my hair is brown. I have some highlights, but, uh, and it's time for a haircut. I can't wait to get a haircut. Hair this. I think the salons are opening up next week. So now I'm just gonna do my brown hair. So if you don't like the way it comes out with the paint, try it with the paper. If you don't have color construction paper, you can use your crayons, your colored pencils, just like always, I always tell you guys, use whatever supplies you have. I thought I was gonna experiment today with this paper and see how it came out. But again, it's getting pretty, pretty wrinkly, but that's okay. We've talked about ways, once your painting is dry, you can press it 
by putting it like books on top of it or inside the pages, but don't do it while it's wet. If you do it while it's wet, it'll get stuck to your book. It doesn't look exactly like me, but you get the idea, right? Now Van Gogh, Picasso, Monet, Frida Kahlo, they all did amazing self-portraits. And I'm going to show you guys a bunch of different artists' self-portraits tomorrow when we do our Picasso creations. And tomorrow you can do another self-portrait or you can make a creature or a monster or a cubist style portrait. And then of course I look kind of weird without my eyes being done. So then I'm gonna use the dark brown to do my eyes. And again, I can go back into it with the black. Make my hair wispy. This one looks a little small. Sorry, I have to go in front of the camera. And you can make your lips pink, you can make them red, you can make them peach. Let's see. Just so they show up, I'll use a little bit of red, or a little bit of, just so they could show up. Kai and the daddy man, that was cute. If you guys have been journaling, I mean, again, I think someone needs to write a story about their lives during this time. You know, how you got through it. You guys that watch me regularly, I know how you got through it. You got through it by creating art every day and creating your own stuff and thinking outside the box and coming up with your own creations. All right, so I can't find my black paint. Hang on. Oh my goodness. Joe, I forgot about Alexa today. Can you think of any songs? I forgot about Alexa, you guys. Help me out. I remember whenever I did the nostrils, the kids would go, eh! I'm like, you guys, we all have nostrils. Again, you can give yourself eyelashes if you want. My eyes looking a little crooked, huh? Don't forget about your pupil. You guys see your pupil? Let's see, am I close to my skin color? In actuality, I'm slightly darker. I still feel like if I was going to mix more together, I would do 
more orange, maybe a little more brown. But you get the idea. And that's a pretty quick self portrait. And again, if you guys did the paper version, you would add hair and you can use, again, you can use whatever paper that you have. You can cut out the eyes. So the eyes would be an almond shape or a football shape. I would do them at the same time so that they become symmetrical, right? So you could cut them out. You can glue them to your head. Now we know that they're down by the ears. Oh, it's hard to see that, isn't it? So again, you can be using so many different supplies when you're doing your soft portrait. And do it, if you don't like it, do it again, do it again, and do it again. My eyes look a little funny there. And then I did, hmm, I had another one somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. But I had another one that, that was my practice version. So do you guys, again, you could have any um, questions for Michelle. And I can ask her. Maybe she can chat them back with you guys in the message room. And if you have any artwork that you want to share with us. So um, you can show us what you did on Friday. You could show us what you did over the weekend. Thank you so much for sending me all those gorgeous pictures over this weekend and uh, they were amazing and I just got some beautiful thank yous and such blessed words that you guys were sending me so you can tag me at artist to heart paint party you can message me you can check in at artist to heart paint party if you're on youtube you guys can go to my website artistatheart.org you can email me your photos and then I'll share them and on the website artistatheart.org there's a bunch of photos as well uh, so you can also send them to me there. So, and again, if you guys have a like favorite colored shirt, even if you're not wearing it right now, so I'll put my black turtle back on. And tomorrow we're just going to be silly. Tomorrow we're going to do silly creatures, Picasso style. Wednesday, you guys, we're doing Mickey Mouse. So we could do Mickey Mouse Picasso style. We could do Mickey Mouse Andy Warhol style. You can do Mickey Mouse realistic. So if you guys find it hard to use Facebook with this, let me know. Because I've had some people have trouble with the link. And I always put the link in the details. And I post it to the top of the page, but I don't know if everybody can always find where it is. So this today has a texture to it. It's, uh, and again, it's on paper. And because I put paint on top of the paper, it buckled. So I, this is bigger than my normal 16 by 20 canvas. I wanted to make it large today. So, um, does it kind of look like me a little bit? And if you want to put like, you know, pink cheeks, you can put some pink cheeks. Again, if you want to make it, you know, a little silly, you can make it a little silly. So Joe, if you want to give them the StreamYard link, you guys can come up on StreamYard if you want to share your artwork with us or if you have any questions for Michelle. I'm trying to think, look at myself. Like this eye looks a little funny to me, but good enough, right? It's a little quiet. I know I need a good Alexa song. There's gotta be like a Just Like Me song. 
I know you guys know them. You know way more songs than I do. So go ahead, Joe. Bring anybody up. Hi, Carrington. Hi. Um, so this is my drawing. I this, is, this is my grandma. My grandma is not doing a lot of house, so um, I wanted to make one for her. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Send me a picture. Thank you. Hi, Bailey. This is mine so far. That that looks like you and your skin color. That's good. And this is what I made for school. It's my papa. I love it. Thank you. I love that background too. Bye, Bailey. Hi, Larry. This is mine. That's crazy. This is mine. Hi. Oh. Hi. I got a song. Good, that looks great, you guys. Did you have a good one? I'm not good at making faces. That's okay, why I did it. song I thought of. That's why we practice. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. This is my art. Very nice. Good skin. I made a mistake right here because I didn't know what kind of color that I had to do. That's okay. It's good to practice and experiment, right? Mm -hmm. It looks great. Good job. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. You're yeah. welcome. Thanks Bye. For doing Bye. Hi, Isabella. Hi, this is my drawing today, and today I used colored pencil instead of paint. I love it. The hair color is like perfect, and I love the little style. That looks so cute. Thank you. Good Have job. Thanks. Day. Bye. Bye. Hey, Danny. Hello. Can you see it? Yeah. Hello. How are you, Danny? Good. How are you guys? You got the whole family up there today. Family. Yes. That's awesome. What's for what's for lunch? My art drug. Very nice. Bye. I haven't seen you for a few days. I was missing you. I'm glad you're okay. But I missed you too. Bye, Denise. Bye, guys. Hi, Ava. Hi. Um so far this is my self-portrait. Oh, perfect. doesn't really look like me now because, you know, I haven't really been outside of the house in a couple days. But I'm trying to do the best I can. What's up with the purple um, lips? I wonder if she can hear me. I, I have markers and crayons, so I sort of don't really need to figure out the skin color because I have, like, three things for it. Yeah, that's, that's it. And... Thanks. I really like your portrait. It's really cool. <laughs> also with the um, the Roy Lichtenstein piece with the Zentangles. When you drew the pot and I'm like, how does she do that? <laughs> and I'm like, how can she do that so good? Practice. And your face expression was like, do, 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 do. So I'm like, wait, she doesn't notice that she's doing it so well. So, yeah, you're a pro, and I'm so happy that you're leading me. Oh, Ava, thank you so much. And it's been one of my hobbies now that you've done it. Thank you. Because of you. Thank you. Hi, Liana. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Oh, I sent me a picture. I made yeah, this yesterday. Oh, that's cool. Pretty. My initials. Love it. Bye. Thank you. Hi, Liam and Aze. Eileen. Aileen. Eileen. Ashleen. I'm trying to say your name right. Oh, my God. Those are so good. Those look great, you guys. I want pictures. Send me pictures. Hey, Adrienne. Oh, I did mine so far. I did hands 
I'm going to paint the. Oh my God, that's so good. I'm going to paint. You can see. It. I'm going to paint right in the middle there the earth for all the oh for the heroes that are helping us to stay safe in this pandemic. I love it. I love it. Bye. Bye. Hi, Sammy. Hi. Um. So this is mine so far. Oh wow! Oh, that looks so cool. Anime, right? Anime this time. Yeah. Kind of Honestly, um, this is the one I did previously. Wow. That's more so how I drew it, but then the paint sort of covered up the details. So it looks yeah, great. Yeah, it's gonna look anime. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Carrington. Um, I have a song that I made up. Um, I made a really weird song, but, um, it. Oh, I just, I can't hear you anymore. I could hear you before, but now I can't hear you. Say it again. Sing your song again. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Mia. Hi. Um, so today, instead of doing the um, self-portrait, I'm waiting for my neighbors to get back so we can do it together. So instead of doing that, I did a mermaid. Oh, that's beautiful. And then, oh, wow. That looks great. And I made, like, a little book for, for all of them because... It's May, so a bunch of people are doing like mermaid. So I'm oh. doing like one for each day of the month. I I'm gonna do that this week. That's a great. I mean, you just gave me an idea. How about like Thursday we do mermaid? Yeah. Mhm. Mm oh, that's a great idea, Mia. Thank yeah. You. I love that. Hi, Katie. Aww. This is my puppy. Aww. What's your puppy's name? Um, Bailey. Bailey? Mm-hmm. And then Sorry. I did my painting a second. Um, this is my portrait. And I put a little love over it. Aww. And um, thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Thank Bye. you for being with me. Bye. Hi again. Um, I have like something from school that my teacher gave me. It helps me do my self portrait. It oh, I love that. That's wonderful. That's a great thing yeah. to have. And we were talking about the three eye thing. We do an eye train. I so, love that. So that's what I did today. That's a great yeah. idea. Thank you. I love that 80s rock and glow shirt. Oh my gosh, I need a shirt like that. I'm a big fan of the 80s. I was in high school in the 80s. The 80s were a great time. I had great big hair. Oh my gosh. I don't have a picture of the 80s. I did have, I was going to show you guys a picture of something. Let me see. Oh, you know what I was going to show you of? Okay. Well, in honor of my nephew who graduated yesterday, and I was going to put a graduation picture up, but here's me. That's my graduation picture. Uh, that was, gosh, 1990. That's my uh, master's. Is that when I got my master's? No, that's, I got my master's in 95. Anyways, it was a long time ago, but I'm telling you in the 80s, I had some great big puffy hair. So uh, anyway, congratulations. My niece, Rachel, graduated from high school and my nephew, Richie, graduated from Dayton. So that congratulations to all the graduates out there. I did want to create a graduation artwork and I want you guys to tell me, do you have an interest this week? We could do it probably Friday if we do a, if we do Mermaid Thursday, then we could do maybe a graduation artwork on Friday. If you guys want to, I know a lot of you created cards over the weekend for graduates. So if you if there's a demand for it, if you guys have a desire to create like a cap and gown artwork of some kind, we could do that on Friday. But if you guys don't want to, I'll come up with something else. So let me know. And again, if you guys have any questions or anything, chat them in the chat room. I still didn't come up with a good, I have to come up with one good Alexa song. Joe, hey, Kitty, did you think of anything? Um, something about, 
I don't know, something, you guys come up with something about diversity, about being different, about self, being self, self esteem, uh, something about anything. I don't know how, I went blank today on this stuff. So I was running around trying to get the big stuff ready for my portrait. So I forgot about Alexa. And I also didn't give Joe any pictures. Let's see if I can send one to Joe real quick. Joe, I'll send you one. Well, no, I'll do it tomorrow. I don't want to take up too much time. So Reagan's here. Go ahead, bring up Reagan. Hello. Hi. Mine so far. Oh, that looks great. Thank you for doing this. It's really fun every day with you. Thanks for doing it with me. Send me a picture when you're done with that. Thank you. Okay. Hey. Man, man in the mirror and YMCA. I love it. Thank you. Okay, how about man Alexa play Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. Okay, bring up Carrington. Um, I was wondering if we could do a safe project. A safe project. And this is a one I'm still doing for my dad. Uh, same thing. Me to do. We will definitely do a space project. That's coming up. Uh, we'll do something from space, maybe with a rocket ship too. Thanks, Carrington. Hi, Hi. Linda. I'm not finished with it yet, but this is me so far, and I drew a little dwarf hamster on my head because I have to. <laughs> and and this is mine. I turned out kind of like. An orange. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That looks awesome. Thank you. Thanks, girls, and thanks for the beautiful well wishes yesterday. Thank, Thank you for the art You're lessons. Welcome. You're welcome. I hope you guys had a great day. Thanks again. You're Arts. welcome. I love that. They're so cute. You guys, if you didn't see the beautiful pictures, again, I, they're on Facebook. You have to go on Facebook to see all the pictures that people post. Ava, go ahead. Bring up Ava. Um, so I was thinking about a graduate thing, something with a sketch. Oh, you can't see it. Um, fireworks. Oh, yeah. You talked about fireworks. Yeah. Class of 2020. Love it. I'll come up with something for Friday. Okay. Thanks, Ava. You're welcome. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Oh, I love it. Beautiful drawing. Can you scoot over a little? I can't see your face next to it. Yeah. Now, now, put, the, now put your picture up. There. That's awesome. Send me a picture. Can you send me a picture? Okay. Thank you. Um, this is my finished project, and, um, I really tried my hardest to make it like it. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Carrington. Hi. Hi. Um. Thank you for doing this. I'm Mal Pell and I'm from Gretna, Nebraska. And that's my family. I'm oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Send me a picture, okay? Okay. Thank you. Oh, you guys, that was so much fun. Such a great day. So wonderful to have Michelle Person come on and share her story with us. And again, you can find her books on Amazon. They're uh, just like me books and she has several of them and that was so fun and wonderful for her to come on and share that with us you guys have a wonderful safe day and i will see you guys again at noon tomorrow eastern standard time so whatever time it is where you're at and we're going to be doing some crazy creations pablo picasso style and then don't forget wednesday's uh, mickey mouse day so thanks for joining us and i will see you guys again tomorrow at noon bye